Good morning, you lovely people. Big news, I have moved in with my girlfriend Beth for the first time ever. Task one, escape the bedroom without waking Sleeping Beauty. Easier said than done when you have the dexterity of an elephant. Now it's 6 a.m. and I'm getting up this delightful Friday because I have a class I haven't yet prepped for at 9 a.m. and then another at 11.15. Just in case you're wondering, basically Beth is a key worker, still having to go into London every other day, and she's trying to shield her family. And so now that my exams are over, we decided that the safest thing to do was to move out and live together, just the two of us, until things calm down a little. I start by tidying up the room we both work in, being the domestic god that I am, of course. I also do my usual morning press-ups so I look extra pumped for a day spent sat in front of a computer screen. The plan for the day is to get an intense six and a half hours of studying in this morning and then hopefully to be able to free up the afternoon for some video work and also some much needed chill out time with Beth. I get to work by 6.50 for a good hour and a half of note taking ahead of my 9am class. You may notice that I've moved back from OneNote to good old Microsoft Word. This was simply because I found the inability to format OneNote documents in a way I could easily print to then memorize from when I wander around my room talking to myself really frustrating. So yeah, it's not exactly cutting edge, but Word does the job I need it to. Although my workspace here isn't quite as flashy as my desk setup at home, as you'll have seen if you watch my desk setup video, which you of course should, most importantly, Jennifer is still with me. I have my file facts to plan my work for the day, my monitor, and my 4,000 page Butterworth's Company Law Handbook. I mean, hardly a handbook, is it? Now you may also be thinking, blimey, Liam's hardly following his own advice to prepare for classes a couple of days in advance so you get the benefits of spaced repetition. And you'd be right, but the honest truth is I've been crazily busy and am a bit behind at the moment. I'm really trying hard not to beat myself up about it like I would have done in the past. Instead, I'm going to ride with it until I have a little bit more time to catch up next week. I've also increasingly moved to a just-in-time model of studying. Rather than plowing hours and hours into preparing for class, I do what is necessary for me to understand and engage in the class, but I'm still not entirely in my comfort zone during the class itself. I have questions to ask, I have a go answering questions that I'm asked, but certainly don't always get it right. But the time I save being a little less prepared, I then invest in consolidating the material after class. Something you might like to give a go. By 8.05 I'm sufficiently peckish to grab some breakfast, Beth's night owl body clock doesn't quite fit in with my early schedules so she's not up yet. Does anyone else find banana goes absolutely everywhere when they chop it? Anyway, I still have quite a bit of prepping to do for my classes, so I enjoy my fruit and yogurt with a delicious spot of equity finance. This morning, how public companies list their shares on the stock exchange. Yum. Having at least read through and tried to understand most of the content I'll be covering in my classes this morning, remember I'll work on making sure my notes are amazing by consolidating after the class, I pop a crumpet on and go and get Beth up. Not entirely sure that worked, but hopefully she'll emerge shortly. Crumper down, jumper on, and Beth up. It's time to jump onto my first Microsoft Teams class of the morning, private acquisitions. As far as my approach to online classes, rather than in-person classes goes, I really try to make sure I resist the urge to procrastinate in a way I never would in the classroom. I'm strict in not checking my phone throughout the class. I put it on hold using the Hold app. I close down my email and really try to make sure that when there's a bit of a lull in my focus and I open up a new web browser window, I am conscious that I'm doing that and snap myself back to the class, often taking a big gulp of water, which I've developed as kind of a cue for my mind to focus. When my class ends at 11, it's time for a much needed coffee and a little piece of the coffee and walnut cake Beth made last weekend. I've got to say it's done pretty well to make it to Friday and it's then straight back into my next class. An obvious advantage of not being in the classroom is the ability to eat cake on the sly. You've just got to hope that a question isn't unexpectedly fired your way mid-mouthful. If it is, the mic's not working excuse is pretty foolproof. Beth's working from home today and I've got to say, having just a little company as much as I am a very anti-social co-worker is really very nice, having spent the last four weeks talking to myself. By half one, Beth starts making lunch, and I know, get us being such a modern couple sharing the domestic burden. Although I was so busy filming, I may have ever so slightly burnt our toast, and at risk of seeming like a real insta-biatch, 
Avocado and egg on toast with wilted spinach and tomatoes is delicious and healthy. So if you're a hater, you are gonna hate. Whatever, I don't care. Once we finished eating, Beth spots my Butterworth's handbook for the first time. I mean, not entirely sure how she missed it, but hey. And I, like a Rajana bird of paradise performing a mating dance, decide to attempt to impress her with my Mike Ross-esque knowledge of the law. Not my lucky day, it would appear. We then head out into the garden to enjoy a little afternoon sunshine to find it looks like Hurricane Katrina recently passed through. It's actually quite nice when you're not in the wind. Oh my God, Liam, you're gonna water. Everyone else is garden. It's going absolutely miles. Sorry <laughs> for next door. After my brief battle with the sprinkler, I then get back to my computer at 2.45. The first task for this afternoon though is to take an hour and a half to get my life in order. Since my exams last week and basically studying all day every day for them, my to-do lists were just the topics I needed to get through written out in my Filofax along with my miracle study plan. And so I haven't been using the tool I generally use to organize pretty much everything in my life, Trello, for about a month. So I dedicate a good chunk of time to inputting all the tasks from this week and next week that I've noted down in my Filofax just to get a firm grasp of where I'm at and so that I can clearly see what needs doing for me to catch up to feeling on top of my studies again. If you have any questions about how I use Trello, do let me know in the comments because I'm going to be filming a video about Trello very soon, so I'll make sure I cover all of your questions in that. I've also been seriously neglecting emails, so take a good half hour to empty out my very congested inbox. At 4.15, I crack open a cold one and get to work for a good couple of hours on editing my desk setup video. Watch that if you haven't already. By Friday, I find I'm really tired and often unproductive as I lack the urgency of upcoming classes that mean I really need to get my law work done. I'm cutting together all of the clips I filmed last week, and in case you're interested in learning how to video edit yourself, I learned pretty much everything I know through Skillshare, and particularly Ali Abdal's amazing video editing course, so do sign up for a free two-month trial if you want to learn how to edit like me. I then record the audio to sit over the top of my video. As you can see, I'm still using the budget microphone setup I bought a couple of years ago. And yes, I look a little crazy sat on the floor jamming to myself, but this carpeted bedroom with cushions makes sure there's no echo when I'm speaking. At six, a load of new clothes Beth ordered from H&M arrive, so we have a quick catwalk, basically me deciding whether or not I like the clothes and Beth then completely ignoring my opinion and keeping the stuff she likes. <laughs> Sorry. Fashion shoot over by 6.45, we do a little home workout with my new fave workout channel, Mad Fit, 10 out of 10 for synchronization, even if I do say so myself, <laughs> 30 minutes of hit and I'm a goner. Having showered up, we give some homemade potato wedges a go, easy, tasty and kinda healthy-ish. Those in the oven, Beth munches on some olives like the sophisticated gal that she is, while I start on my second beer of the evening. My exam season sobriety means I'm at significant risk of letting my proverbial hair down. Quizhausted from the almost daily lockdown quizzes, we dive into some evening trivia, and on a high from our respectable third place, I then serve up some potato wedges, which have turned out, I must say, better than anticipated, quiche and a Caesar salad. We watch a spot of Gogglebox and then head upstairs to bed, where the plastic explosion from a single H&M order, shame on them, the number of plastic bags is frankly horrendous, has wreaked havoc. All in all, it's been a pretty good day, getting in a morning of really focused study and then freeing up the whole of the afternoon to do more chilled video work, a workout, and enjoying the evening with Beth is a really lovely start to the weekend. And to round off the day, having got ready for bed, Beth and I have started a new thing where we attempt to stay awake, listening to an audiobook for a bit before going to sleep. We're currently listening to All the Light We Cannot See on Audible. I've really enjoyed sharing today with you, so thanks for watching. And remember that you can sign up for a free two-month trial of Skillshare if you're interested in learning how to video edit via the link on screen now. And it helps out my channel because I am a Skillshare affiliate. And if you enjoyed this day in the life, go and watch my 14-hour study day to see what what I do on a more intense day in law school.